Haiti's First Lady Martine Moise has been brought to a hospital here in Miami for treatment. We watched as she was taken off a plane and put onto a stretcher at Fort Lauderdale Executive Airport. Our team coverage continues now with Local 10's Janine Stanwood live now with the latest developments. Janine. Calvin, initially we were told that she was being treated in Haiti, but now we have learned that she is here. About 45 minutes ago, she arrived here at Fort Lauderdale Executive Airport. That plane just left, but let's show you video from moments ago. It landed here. We're told that the uh, on that stretcher is Haiti's First Lady Martine Moise suffering from gunshot wounds. We're told that she'll be taken to a South Florida hospital for medical care. You can see in that video she is surrounded by members of Homeland Security and other law enforcement uh, as she's rolled from that Trinity Air Ambulance to that private ground ambulance. And if you look at that video, it appears that one of her arms is bandaged. She has a mask over her face and it looks like she is really just keeping still saying very little. As you know, as we reported, it was in the early morning assassination of her husband, Haitian President Jovenel Moise, when officials say the first lady was shot multiple times in their private residence. According to the Haitian ambassador to the United States, she is stable but critical. Local 10, as you know, has caught up with the 47 year old first lady in Haiti, as well as here in South Florida. We're told she advocated for women's issues as well as public health access. Calvin, you have visited Haiti. You have met the first lady. You have uh, frequently said that she uh, is rarely not by her husband's side. Again, now she is in South Florida getting treatment. As soon as we get more on her condition, Calvin Nicole will let you know.